Welcome back to another episode of Building the EMG-6. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the construction of the instrument panel subassembly. And so we have on the screen here the basic tubes that make up the subassembly that will be welded into the frame at a later point in time. So one, two, three, four, five, six parts total that make up this subassembly. So the instrument panel welding fixtures consist of five uh, individual pieces of plywood uh, CNC machined out for precision. And they consist of the base, which is part number 01. And then on the top, we have four other pieces that are part number 02, 03, and then two pieces that are 04, just flipped inverted from each other. So let's go out to the shop and we'll assemble this welding fixture. So we've come out to the shop with our uh, fixtures for the instrument panel and we're now going to go ahead and assemble those so that we can start using them for the welding up of the uh, steel tubes that we've cut for the instrument panel. So let's take a look at how that process is going to go about happening because it's the same process on each one of the fixtures that we have. So we've got five pieces here that we're going to be working with. The base is going to be the start of our of our part and if you've got any um, contamination or if you've got um, wood that sticks you probably should go ahead and clean that off. And then the next step is simply going to be to assemble these fixtures onto the side. Now they're designed and cut so that they're a perfect fit right along the outside, but we've made this even one step easier by making alignment holes. So you can stick a half inch bolt into each one of the alignment holes that are on each part, and every part on the fixtures have alignment holes so that you can um, ensure proper alignment with the thing. And then we're going to screw the thing together. We're going to use some construction screws, not sheetrock screws. Sheetrock screws have a tendency to break when you tighten them up, so these are high strength construction screws pretty common and we'll just two to three screws per part and it's going to hold it in place more than adequately for each one of these parts. So let's finish up the rest of this and we'll show you how that all goes together. So to finish up the rest of the welding fixture it's the same as what we did for the first part. We'll simple, simply align the parts with the alignment pins and then throw in uh, a couple of screws into each part to ensure that it won't move and then go on to the next part. Now this is exactly the same procedures that we're going to use on all of the other welding fixtures that we have. They all have alignment holes that ensure that you're going to get the part lined up correctly. It's very simple to go together and then very easy to disassemble once you've finished with that particular part of the welding. So we finished cutting our last part to go into the fixture here. So let's go ahead and assemble all of the individual parts that we pre-machined at this point and we'll just uh, assemble them. So these parts up here have to go together before we insert them because they're inserted through the tube and they've got enough float in them that it makes it pretty easy to go down in there. I'm just going to start by tapping that end in. Now these are interlocked as well, so we kind of have to tap them in at the same time as this goes down. And we could just use a scrap piece of tube to help push them flush. With the bottom of the fixture. And let's see, left and right, and this one is for the right. Oops, goes this way. And this one goes this way. Okay, a couple of items. It's all together right now, but let's look at this end here. These are designed so that they fit 
up against another piece of three quarter inch tube that's part of the airframe. And so this provides the reference for that. So we'll simply tap these into place and that leaves us just a little bit of room right in there. And double check to make sure that they're down all the way. And ensure on the other end that we have our instrument panel is going to go in and these holes, this could be flipped the other way and then it would look something like that. But this is how the instrument panel map um, that holds the two airspeed and altimeter go right in here. And the rest of the instrument panel lays this way. And then the tubes here, if you haven't marked them properly, they're going to fit onto the keel frame that goes up this way. This isn't that part, but um, that should be slanted away from that. Everything else looks really good. We're ready to um, start tack welding this thing. So we'll go down to the shop. We'll throw some tack welds on this thing and show you how that goes. Okay, so we're down here in the shop getting ready to weld, but a couple of things I wanted to point out ahead of time. If your fit of your tubes in the fixtures aren't exactly perfectly tight, you don't want them moving during the welding process. And even if you're gonna be tack welding, a lot of times there'll be movement that occurs. So we've included in the kit these little um, extra boards in there, and they're primarily for the job of ensuring that you can clamp down individual components. Nothing fancy with these, just something to provide a little bit of tension on those tubes so that they can't rotate during the welding process. And they get used on all of the jigs and provide lots of strength just to hold those things in place while that force of the welds cooling and heating is, is taking place. So once we've got all these fixtures in place, we're now ready to start tack welding everything. So we'll start with that process right now. welding a lot of welds on these things we're primarily looking just to tack weld the thing if you start with too much heat or too much flame you're going to be burning the uh, wood fixtures a little bit that's not really a big deal but maybe have a spray bottle if you're doing oxyacetylene have a spray bottle of water so you can just uh, wet the plywood in between um, welds but just go around and tack them just tacks in different locations
finish welding up the um, instrument panel frame uh, subassembly right now, and we were finished with it and just stuck it back into the frame just to make sure that uh, we didn't have any weird welding uh, bends that are going on. And it went in just about as firm as it came out, so that's all a good sign that this thing is a perfect fit. And we're ready to take this part and now assemble it onto the rest of the airframe when we get that far along.